previous performance is not an indicator of future results. How often did you hear this phrase and how often will you hear it again? Well, I bet you heard it too often, but it doesn't ever hurt to repeat it again. So, previous performance is not an indicator of future result and nevertheless, in my opinion, if something has worked in the past, there is a high chance that it will work again in the future. In today's video, I'm going to show you what investment worked for me, what investment decisions brought me the best results and I'm going to base my conclusions only on those investments that have been showing good results constantly over a longer period of time. It doesn't mean that it is going to work for you as well, but I will be very happy if you share your best investment decisions in the comments below this video, because maybe if it works for you, it will also work for someone else. So let's start. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anastasia. On this channel, I talk about investing and especially investing for beginners. If you've been following my channel for some time, you know that I invest on different investing platforms. I use eToro, I use Vanguard, Free Trade, Coinbase, um, Trading212 as well. And every single platform I use for different purposes. On every single platform, there are investments that showed better results and worse results results, but I am going to go with you through the investment decisions that I've been following for a longer period of time. So I'm not going to include free trade, for example, as I've just started using this platform. But for all the other platforms, we are going to go through the best investment decisions that I made. We are going to look at every single investment decisions on each individual platform that brought the best results. And we will also discuss the actual results that they've achieved. So let's start. So let's start with eToro. eToro is the number one investing platform for beginners. I love it. And the feature that I love the most is copy trading. I love this feature the most because this is the one that brought me the highest results. And this is the feature that I use and intend to use in the future. This is how my portfolio looks at the moment. And as you see, I don't just copy other investors. I also buy individual stocks and shares that doesn't perform that well. But out of the people who I copy, the most consistent results were brought to me by J Nemesis. Unfortunately, if you are new to it or you aren't allowed to copy this guy because he reached some limit and at the moment the option of start copying him is closed, it might change in the future. At the moment it's closed, so that's why I kind of have to tell you. I think they will lift this limit at some point, but I just don't know when. So if you look at the results, at the moment he's making me 13% profit and I copy him with $12,000, which is quite a bit. So this guy at some point, of course, was also losing money and I was in red, but for the majority of time, and I've been doing it for nearly a year now, he's been always in green. But again, let's make it clear, not all the time green, but the majority of the time he is green. And just remember this, that J Nemesis made me 13% of profit so far. The second guy who I want to mention in this video is Olivier Danval, because he's made only 1.3%, which comes to only $33, but I also copy him with 2.5 thousand instead of 12 thousands that I have invested into J Nemesis. The thing about Olivier, if we click on his profile, is the consistency. Because I don't know how, but it seems like Olivier has found a trick of how to beat the market every single month. If we go to his stats, we see that every month he is in green. So I feel very confident with Olivier. Okay, here he's made 0%, but at least it's not red. At least he didn't lose anything. So the trick about Olivier would be to invest more money into him. If I was prepared to invest more money into Olivier, I'd obviously get also higher returns. The difference between Olivier and J Nemesis is that J trades more frequently and larger sums of money, whilst Olivier tends to hold a lot of money in cash. At the moment he has only 4% invested, you know, this is nothing. So to think that with such little investments he still managed to bring such good results as 1.3%, which is already higher and more than what I'd get if I invested this money into a bank, 
normal bank account, you know, it makes me happier, I am satisfied with the result. But if we are talking about the consistency and the best constant result, Olivier even probably beats J Nemesis, because J Nemesis is green at the moment, but at times he is red, whilst Olivier has been green since I started copying him, which is incredible, really, for a trader especially a forex trader. The rest of the people who I copy, they've been fine, but they are not constant. So, and Amar is the last guy who I started copying and he's been quite constant, but I don't have enough experience copying him because I've been copying him for about three months only. So I definitely cannot say, cannot include him in this video as a constantly green person, but so far he's been good. So that's it for eToro. I don't even want to look at individual stocks and shares that I bought here because they are definitely not consistent. Maybe because of the market conditions this year when the market is so unstable, I constantly see this roller coaster of it going to green and then back to red and then green again you need to have steel nerves to be able to live through it so i'm not going to include any individual stocks and shares that i bought this year for the consistently good returns let's move on to the next platform And the next platform that we are going to look at is Vanguard. Vanguard is the platform where I hold my stocks and shares ISA and this is the money that I am going to invest and use only when I retire. So this is a long-term investment. And this is how my portfolio on uh, Vanguard looks. As you see, so far my personal rate of return is 10.8%, which again is huge, is great. I'm so happy that I started doing it and I just regret not starting doing it a little bit earlier. But what we have to look at is my investment. So if we click here, we see all the different assets and different funds that I invested my money in. And it is very clear that S&P 500 brought me the highest results by far. You see, I made £117 on S&P 500, whilst the rest of the funds that I invested are basically brought me nothing. I mean, they're all in profit, which is great, except of this one, which is FTSE Japan. But the profit is so little that in comparison to S&P 500, I mean, it's nothing. So basically, this general result that I showed you just a second ago of 10.8%, it all comes from S&P 500. And talking about the stability, I can also say that S&P 500 has been pretty stable. Let's click on it and see how the graph goes. You see it goes, it's up and down, up and down, up and down all the time, but the general trend is very visible. The general trend is going up. And these are the prices that I bought this fund for every single week, uh, because I buy this fund every single week. 26, 26, 25, 26, 27. So the price stays more or less the same. Sometimes it falls, so you see 51 pounds and so on, but generally it stays around 50 to 55 mark. So it doesn't fluctuate as much as individual stocks and shares, or for example, cryptocurrencies that we are going to talk about in a second. So that's why we can include this fund into this video where we are talking about the assets that brought consistently good results. S&P 500 has definitely been one of those assets this year. One more detail that I would like to mention talking about my portfolio on Vanguard is that the life strategy fund with 80% equity, this one here, is my last investment that I only set up a month ago and I'm already in profit but I don't know how it performs over a longer period of time so I'm not going to talk about it in this particular video even though I expect this one a life strategy fund to bring even more consistent results than S&P 500 because S&P 500 is only an individual fund that invests yeah into many companies but they are all based in the US whilst life strategy invests into different funds all over the globe so covers all the geographies plus it invests not only into equities so not only into stocks and shares but also into bonds which is a completely different group of of assets and it's not correlated to equity at all so it helps this fund to keep a perfect balance and the risks in this fund are very very low but let's wait a little bit longer to be able to talk about the results that this fund brings I don't want to speak too soon I don't want to jinx 
last platform that I must mention in this video, although it's not that consistent at the moment, but it has been so far, is cryptocurrency. And I invest into cryptocurrency on Coinbase, so I'm going to show you my portfolio on Coinbase. It is not the first time I do this. I already reviewed my portfolio on Coinbase several months ago, and at that time my total value invested was much higher, but since then I've first of all So it is not the first time I review my Coinbase portfolio on this channel. I've already done it before and back then the value was much higher, but since then it has decreased due to two main reasons. First reason that was a cryptocurrency market crash and the second reason is because I withdrew some of the money that I had invested. So I've withdrawn some of the profits, which by the way I did right before the crash, so I was pretty lucky. I feel like I must include this portfolio as well just because it has been showing constant results and constant positive results. It was definitely one of the best investments I made this year so far. And since this video is about the best investment I made so far in this year, I feel like I just have to talk about crypto as well because the bull run in the crypto market was crazy. So this is how my portfolio looks on Coinbase right now. I called 46% of Ethereum and 42% of Bitcoin and the rest of the money is divided between other coins which are not that important because I don't hold that much of them. So my portfolio mainly depends on the price of Ethereum and the price of Bitcoin. And also a very important detail is that I started investing into cryptocurrency several years ago. So investing into crypto has definitely worked for me. But remember that investing into crypto involves such high risks, it's, the risks are much higher than investing into almost any other asset. It's much riskier than investing into commodities, into bonds, into equity. Crypto is definitely the riskiest asset that I have invested in personally. But where you see high risks, you may also see high returns. I in my situation so high returns. Your situation, I hope it will be the same, but you never know. I just want to make it as clear as possible because I don't want you to watch this video and think, hmm, okay, she got great results of investing into crypto, so I'm going to do the same and hope for good results too. Because crypto market is completely unpredictable and I cannot tell you that it will work for you. I definitely feel more confident investing into funds with Vanguard or into popular investors who manage to show constant positive results like Jane Nemesis, like Olivier on eToro. But when it comes to crypto, I absolutely have no idea what's going to happen. I believe in the cryptocurrency in the long term, that's why I bought more crypto recently. But please don't buy any crypto just because I bought it. Although I think this year there are very few people left who still haven't tried to invest into cryptocurrencies. That was one of the reasons why we had this bull run on the first place. Anyway guys, at some point I'm going to make a video with the worst investment decisions that I made. I already know what decisions they were, but I just want to put them together so that I don't talk too much and go too far away from the topic, which I know I can do. If you want to watch this video as well, then please consider subscribing to my channel so that you don't miss this video once I record it. Also, if you got anything out of this video, then please click the like button below. Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video today. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.